Hello there, and welcome to the channel. Mad Mike here, and today we're going to be talking about the recent trail of the dropped for the Fast and Furious spinoff, Hobbs and Shaw. Uh, now, this is, I believe it's supposed to air for a commercial at the Super Bowl as well, um, but the Universal Pictures has chosen to drop the trailer on the internet a couple days before, uh, possibly just to gauge reaction um, or something like that, or maybe just to get the hype up for it. And then obviously it'll have a, a big debut during the Super Bowl. So Hobbs and Shaw follows the two characters from, I believe they both premiered in Fast and Furious 5, uh, Hobbs, played by Dwayne Johnson, and Shaw, played by Jason Statham. Now, this is a bit different from your standard Fast and Furious play. Now, the, the, the main uh, movies in the series basically just revolve around mostly cars and stunts and driving and stuff like that. And, you know, later on they've added in plots involving uh, other things, but it mostly just started out as driving and racing movies. But this is a bit of a departure, and it's a departure in more than one way. And they did announce uh, that they were going to be doing a series of spinoffs. Um, I think they were said they were going to be doing a Vin Diesel-centric one uh, with the uh, Dominic character, um, and they were going to be doing maybe a few other spinoffs with the uh, Tyrese Gibson character and a few other ones. So uh, let's let's just break this down. So the trailer did come out. And as we can see, it's it starts off. Uh, Idris Elba plays the bad guy, who I believe is um, I forget a uh, Sand or something like that in the in the trailer. I'll link the trailer below, by the way. Um, but it looks like it's going almost into superhero territory. Cause it's a little weird because Idris Elba's character seems like he's uh, a basically a genetically enhanced person. Uh, you know, he says bulletproof, super strength, and stuff like that. It shows him punching through a metal wall um, and stuff like that. He, he does say that he's bulletproof, which, again, they don't really show him getting uh, shot in the trailer, but uh, it, it, is, it would be interesting to see that. Now, here's the, uh, here, here's the kicker, is that, okay, so you have this now superhuman character in Fast and Furious, which, look, the driving, the ability to do the driving, is obviously it has nothing to do with real world physics it is completely off the wall so then you go into into, into this territory which I, I guess is technically the next logical step is if you're going to have superhuman driving you might as well just have superhumans period um so you you so they bring the hobbs character in and they bring the shaw character in and they say okay we need both of you for your strengths we need the hobbs character for because uh, he's a no-nonsense lawman who can bring anybody in, and we have the Shaw character because he knows the underworld and how to track this guy. Because it looks like he's he's uh, gathering up weapons to uh, to try and uh, perform some kind of terrorist acts or something like that. It shows him uh, running around. I believe it's England, uh, or uh, I'm pretty sure it's a European city, uh, but I I believe it's England. Um, doing various things and he has a bunch he has a big group of mercenaries and stuff like that so it's your it's your standard fare for that and but then you go into uh the uh what, what looks like the confrontations and stuff between them so he you know they have a few action scenes involving uh Statham and, and Jason Statham, Dwayne Johnson, and Idris Elba, and they kind of go back and forth. There's one where they're all together. There's a few where they're separate. Um, so the the plot line looks fairly standard. Uh, you know, it's more of a buddy cop action movie than it is any kind of a driving movie. Even though some of the promotional material does have cars in it, which of course is going to appeal to the Fast and Furious fans. Um, so once you get past that, you could examine. Uh, the the acting in the trailer, which again standard action movie acting. Dwayne want Dwayne Johnson is playing Dwayne Johnson as usual. Jason Statham is playing the gruff tough guy as usual. Uh, there were a couple of cringy lines in the trailer. There's a a point where they both uh, they're both sitting across the table from each other and they point at each other and they both call each other assholes, uh, which is kind of it feels very cliche of a buddy cop movie. Like I don't want to work with him and I don't want to. The other guy doesn't want to work with him either. And, uh, you know, it feels very cliched. Um, 
so you can go into that. Um, but aside from that, uh, their their chemistry seems all right. There's there's a particularly funny scene uh, where Jason Statham is in an elevator and Dwayne Johnson's like swinging around outside on these uh, these rope lines and stuff, and you can see him mouthing uh, "fuck you" to him in the elevator, uh, which is pretty funny. And uh, I think overall they do have a good chemistry together from seeing them in, in previous films. Uh, but that's just just a quick breakdown. Uh, this movie is set to come out this summer. I don't believe it has an actual uh, solid release date yet. They're still uh, liquid on that on that front. They haven't solidified it. But uh, I don't know. It looks kind of interesting. I think it's something that Fast and Furious fans are definitely going to like, which is what they're aiming for. Uh, but uh, tell me what you think. So put it in the comments. Put a like on the video. Hit the bell for notifications. And remember, I live my life free of compromise. Do you?